gaming side, Sony is getting their ass kicked in lawsuits and lots of necessary criticism. It was uh, what was it? it was six six billion? I believe so. It's six it was, billion. Yeah, Sony, Sony, Sony think they, Sony think they untouchable. They think they pop. It's You'll get touched. Cap. <laughs> you you gonna get touched. Look at where they are. So it's just bad press too. It's really bad, bad, especially with the other piece of news. It's just bad press after bad press. So the first, so the first one is the lawsuit, which pretty much technically is because uh, due to digital, the digital store and the sales, and people believe it's a monopoly. They have monopoly on digital. Uh, they do. It digital. has something to do with the 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 percentage too, like the the thirty percent thing. It has something to do with that, which is. I think the Epic Store did thirty percent. They got sued, and niggas said, hey, "No, it man, was Apple. Know. Apple got sued. Apple, Apple. got sued for thirty percent because it was okay. a big. It was a big lawsuit between Apple and Epic. Yeah, Apple and Epic because Fortnite was on the Epic Store, and Apple was taking thirty uh, percent from Epic, and they were like, "No, nah, we don't. We don't like that." So then Epic sued Apple. I forgot how the the, the cases went because I think it's been over. Um, but essentially that's the same thing that's happening now with, uh, certain, like the, the digital storefront and they're like, yo, Sony, you, these numbers ain't adding up my boy. So, something, something, something needs to give. So yes. So they, cause like Epic, I think what Epic does is they, it's either 15% or 20%. Like, even though the store's infrastructure sucks, like they have a, the way they treat their developers as far as like. The, the 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 digital sales and the percentage that they give back to developers is better than a lot of these other digital storefronts so it's just a yo i wonder who got fired for this joint the so the sony stuff oh you are yeah know. i wonder who got fired for that joint intern coon bro this this seems like a this seems like a dumb oversight like somebody wasn't doing their job right like ooh, I, I wonder who got i know i know when folks got that email like with that with that lawyer letter in that joint i know he was like it's like come to come to come to, come to <laughs> come to upper <laughs> management. <laughs> Reading that shit in all Japanese, he'd be like, "Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's, it, it's like one of those things where it's like, hold on, let me see, because I want to. It, it was something specific that I wanted to to touch upon. The five point nine, five point nine billion dollar, and it's a class action lawsuit. So, yeah, yeah so. I hate it. <laughs> I don't like beans in my tongue, but I wish I lived in fucking Europe at this point. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so that's good bread. It's like, that's yes. like what? it's on like it's on like three million consoles ever sold. That's like, bro, you get a nice little rat check or something like that, <laughs> bro. That trick about to be nice. Uh, yeah. So it's the lawsuit claims that Sony's role as a major player in the global gaming market allow companies the company to administer unfair condition to. Uh, developers as a result developers allegedly provided customers with uh, with excessive and unfair pricing so that's the the crux of what the lawsuit is is basically sony was screwing over the developers again we've seen countless like the whole apple epic thing like i don't know why sony didn't look at that whole court case and all the stuff that was going on it's like you know what let's continue doing it on our end we won't get caught we're sony like <laughs> just oversight like when people so money hungry it's it's different like i don't even like comparing this to the the bumping up the price for consoles because of inflation like like that's a cop out the word inflation but in some aspects it's easier to defend that you just fucking people over you can't defend that you just, you just out there fucking it's over like ain't no saying well we have to allocate funds here and make this over here to do that no you fucking nigga you knew what you was doing why was you doing that you you the fact is like you think about like why is you doing that because even xbox came out and said like look we made game pass because y'all saw y'all saw millions and millions of co more consoles than we did like millions we know like, we can't beat wazoo. you in that market we can't. So, we go so let's do. Yeah. <laughs> so you see how much of a, a grip you got on this market. You see how much of with the lack of like first party games that came out year one of PlayStation Five, with the lack of like a Game Pass type subscription based service that's still faulty now that we got. Even though it, 
it's getting beefed up. I ain't gonna hold you. It's, it's getting, getting it's up. getting better, but it's, it's, it's but like to the point that you said, really none of the the Saudi exclusives gonna be on that joint day one, and you <laughs> it's still people out here still thirsting for a PS Five, like still thirsting for this joint. We got a homie in the group chat right now that's going through it, G. <laughs> like you can't, you can't, you can't have this type easier. It's just, it's easier. No, it, it's definitely easier now, but there's still people out there who who not as savvy with the internet or who don't go to who who or live they, in a mega who live in a metropolis city like we do. So most of the consoles are always sold out in stores. But bro, like like Dom, he live in Texas. He said he went to Best Buy. He joking on ass. I got your PS Five. He's like, yeah, we got something right here. He like, oh, for real? He was about to buy a TV. He was like, never mind. Let, let me get that PS5. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you kind of have to do now because it's to the point where people are like, it's not available. But you ask Joe, they're like, if we just got a shipment two days ago. Yeah, just be on the lookout. But and I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure the the real sales haven't came out just yet. But I'm most likely guaranteed that Sony still whooped Xbox in terms of sales on their console. I'm pretty sure it's closer oh, yeah. just because of how hard it was to get a PS5 compared to an Xbox Series eight, yeah. because of scalpers and shit like that. But I'm pretty sure it's not even close. I'm, yeah, I'm, like, I'm assuming that close. Sony, Sony is dominating the market. Because you, you want to know why? Because stock X PlayStation is only like 580. Like yeah. that for a, for a reseller price, you only get like $40. The, <laughs> resale. I, the funny thing on, is, like, is that in all of this, uh, once again, Nintendo is just sitting in the background chilling. Cause like I think it was, I think it was either March or May. I forgot what month it was, but like the Switch was reported to be the 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 best selling console. Yeah. So, <laughs> so like Switch is just it's, Switch is just then, bro, chilling, bro. The Switch, the Switch <laughs> price, that dumbass price for that console has been the same for the whole fucking time it's been released. That shit is is. At this point now, the Switch is expensive for that thing to be a Switch, bro. <laughs> I, like you just came and I'm buy my little sister a Switch. You got three, you got three to four hundred dollars. I got three hundred four hundred. Yeah, what? Especially <laughs> if you want the the OLED version, you copping up another. <laughs> You're like what the fuck? Why is the shit still? Why is the shit still cost this much? Like, the memory not bigger. You still need to put three games on that hoe. <laughs> like, this shit, this shit, bro. Nintendo, Nintendo. You talk about the grip on the fan. Go on sale. What'd you say? The originals do not go on sale. Oh, yeah. Damn, spent the consoles worth on Joy Con. Poor <laughs> man. Fucking eighty dollars for a Joy Con that that works for less than a year before you gotta buy a new one. Like this shit is insane. Yeah. But yeah, that 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 price increase is is shysty. and also the class action lawsuit. Just do better, y'all, because you really don't have an excuse. As again. Just like, cause you, we literally just went through this with Apple and Epic. So like, you know that major corporations are being called out for these this unfair practice, and you were like, okay, we're we're still gonna do it anyway. And now you facing five point nine billion dollars. Even if that's like, even even for if if it's not a lot to Sony, it's still bad PR because you have you'll have future developers going like, do I really want to work with Sony and put my game? In their actually, market, especially indie developers, like, like do do I really want to do I really want to associate with you and put your game my game on your market if you're just gonna like hand me pennies? So like it's just a it's just a bad situation to to, to be in. And like I said, like listen, we because I think some people might think that we're like Sony stands. We're not. <laughs> we are not. <laughs> uh, I could, if they want a security issue, I would show my bank account right here and not see Sony paycheck because that's the only time I'm I'm. I'm 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 be chilling. If, it is. if you hear doom doom doom, oh, that's God. Sony giving me oh, my God. money. Sony give us a million dollars for sure. We going like, uh, oh yeah, <laughs> Sony's the best thing. Dude, Nigga, give me three hundred. <laughs> give me three hundred. I'm gonna say something. Oh, <laughs> Sony's like the best. Oh my God, did you see the new games that are coming out on the PlayStation Plus subscriber 2.0? Oh man, we're <laughs> lit. <laughs> Boy, I spent yeah, most yeah. of my time platinum my backlog of video games, bro, to, to even give a fuck about what Sony got I've been, out right now. I've been spending majority of this gaming year on my Switch. So, like, I literally, did I literally see, use my PlayStation. Did you see Donkey's? Did you see Donkey's Xeno Chronicles? Shit was hilarious. He's <laughs> he's not he he is not lying. I was also what I I wanted to give an update that I am I'm 
almost done with Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I'm almost I'm about 200 hours into the game. Uh but like oh that game is long. Like it's very it's a very long game. Like uh Did they add Common to Battle to Battlefield 2042? Who's the black dude with a beard? He look like Common. My bad. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> he look like Common. I will be I will be releasing a review I wouldn't I don't want to say shortly but the re a review is coming. But like what Donkey was saying about the the lines Lance wants something a bit media. You'll be hearing that like every like 30 seconds after you're done with the battle. Like he's not exaggerating. They talk a lot in that game. <laughs> and there's not an option. X button right there. <laughs> you there's no X button. It's automatic dialogue after you're done with the battle. There's no X button. Oh yeah. <laughs> there's nope. no there's no X not button. Like when like when you're here when you were here in the review, like Lance wants something a bit media. Lance wants something a bit media. that's after game battle log dialogue that's like if joker was like battle's over do 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 you're not skipping that like he always will say battle's over you know what i'm saying <laughs> but other than that though but other than that though the game is still like a fucking fantastic like i haven't been able to put this game down like soul hackers 2 just came out and i played a little bit of that but now i was like man i i, I really want to go back and finish uh xenoblade chronicles 3 so it's still a great game it's just the dialogue I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if this, if this is anybody, if this is on any of us, but I did not know that um, Fantasy Star Online 2 is on the PlayStation Store right now. It's been on, huh. it's been on Xbox. I think it, for real. I think you get like you get like perks and shit for the Xbox version. Like if you have like Game Pass and shit, you get like perks and stuff. So I just remember, I just remember motherfuckers playing it, and I wonder why it disappeared. I thought it was in like development or some shit like that. I did not know it was on Xbox. <laughs> yeah, that's that show, that stuff has been. Is on it fun, or is it like, is it like Final Fantasy fourteen ish? Uh, I I remember I, a while ago on my PSP, back when like, and shout out to this site, and shout out to my people who knew about this site. It was a site on your PSP where you can go and you can download like uh, demos and stuff. That weren't on the PlayStation Store. Yeah, I remember that, G. So like, you could download. Like, I remember I had downloaded this uh, uh, Final Fantasy Type Zero. It was Japanese only, but it was like a long ass demo that you could play. And it was a, a demo for uh, Fantasy Star. Don't know which one. It had a raw ass opening though. I still remember that opening. It was like Fantasy Star Universe. It was so good. But like, <laughs> I remember I downloaded that demo, and when I played that game, it's kind of like an action action RPG MMO type thing i don't know the new ones but i played that and i had fun playing it like for a psp game mm. like the combos and stuff that you could do was like really in depth it was kind of cool so but i don't know about the new stuff but I, I have no idea if the new one's good i know maximilian dude liked it so mm. uh, but, uh moving on last piece of news dragon well, one dragon ball z has been in uh good news lately uh successful fortnite uh collab Niggas went crazy and gave the game a lot of new life. Then, on top of it, Dragon Ball Super Hero dropped here in the United States a couple weeks ago, and it broke box domestic box office records. Uh, it went over thirty million. Clearly, outperformed a uh, Super Broly, and I think it's it beat the Poke Pokemon. The first Pokemon movie made a lot of money, and it's about to surpass it's the, that. It's the fifth. It's I the thought it already. I it's thought it already beat one, the right? first Pokemon. I remember reading it. Yeah, hold on, why? why? I thought it broke the. Uh, yeah, I thought it broke the record. It's, they're saying like it's the fifth highest selling anime movie of all time. Yes, fifth. Yeah, yeah, fifth right now. So, and if the success continues, it could be Pokemon. It could. What's all? What's all? Animated movie or anime movie? Mainly, primarily anime. And so, like, like you have like your Spirited Away. Oh, it's not beating Spirited Away. Your... Cause they got multiple Spirit Away and she got multiple releases. Like they have been in the theaters like forty fucking times. Well, no, cause Pokemon is number one. Well, yeah, yeah that, that was like a. Uh, I'm just saying, like Spirit of the Way itself oh, is yeah. never going to body Spirit Away just because multiple release type shit. No, it's, apparently it's like this looks like the Demon Slayer movie is number one for worldwide gross, highest gross yeah. in Japanese films. Demon Slayer is like five hundred <laughs> domestic. Yeah. Um, oh, Dragon Ball! Dragon Ball ain't shit on the domestic side of Japan. That movie did. The movie did good, but it, it ain't do as good as like Stampede or um, 
Demon Slayer or the Jujutsu Kaisen movie. I don't but even I know like how the say, I don't even know how the the Shanks movie did. Film Red. I don't know how that did. Oh uh, yeah, that did good. I think I think that did real good. I still don't think like bro. People gotta realize like nothing's gonna beat Demon Slayer at this point unless you get something new. The reason I'm saying this is because it was a new shiny toy, and it said the movie was canon. So it's kind of like you can't miss the movie. Yeah. So so it's like even... people. People Sorry. have this thing of saying, oh, like Dragon Ball lost his hype because it's not up there with Demon Slayer. I'm like, that shit, that movie came right after the anime. It was canon. And then Demon Slayer was probably the most hyped anime that came out and since I don't know when. Like, you're, 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 there's no facts when it comes to it. Like, everything worked out in that favor. Like, One Piece is going to do good because Oda was promoting that goddamn movie in the manga. Yeah. It's going to do good. Jujutsu Kaisen, one of the best animes that came out. The movie came right after the, the show ended. Our season. Yeah, it came right after the show ended. And then it, it's a canon it's a canon movie, so you don't want to miss it. It's and like, it focuses on everybody's favorite character, who's the most broken nigga in the show. So, so like, like when, when, when you put that together, like, Dragon Ball is a month. Right now, Dragon Ball is a monthly... <laughs> Manga. <laughs> That's it. That's all Dragon Ball promotes. Like, yeah, you got you got Doki Battle that still do real good. You got Legends that do good, and people still play Dragon Ball Fighters and Xenoverse. But in terms of story, guys, it's only a monthly manga. That's like saying Naruto Boruto coming out with a new movie and thinking that's gonna do good in Japan. Yeah. It's not. It's gonna do good, but it's not gonna do as good as. The other shit because it's cause Studio Ghibli got a uh, Studio Ghibli got a goddamn chokehold on that top ten list, bro. <laughs> now yeah, dog, yeah, dog. Studio Ghibli, Spirited Away, Studio... House Moving Castle, Princess Mono Mononosuke, like they got like you know, the dude who created those movies, Ponyo. is probably swimming <laughs> money right now, bro. After Studio, do. most of like in terms of animated movies on the top IMDb list, Studio Ghibli has a chokehold on that shit too. Like all the movies that they ever released is. Rail was seen box office hits. That nigga is literally a perfect motherfucker who came out this shit, He literally he he literally never had a, a, a bad movie. He literally came out with Man. nothing but bangers. So and shout out to bro. And the funny thing is with Studio Ghibli new people who don't watch any regular like anime like we are, like you have a person be like, Oh yeah, I know what Spirit of Way is. Yeah. Like, Even non anime niggas know what Studio Ghibli like movies are. <laughs> That's how powerful those movies are. I'm like they watch anime like that, but they watch they in your half studio uh like half that catalog. I'd also so. say that like Dragon Ball's super superhero like released at a time where like nothing else came out. Yeah. So that's like another easy way that it got like the like because you see this often when it comes to like movies, how they go like this is the number one movie in America right now. Number one movie in America, number one movie in America. And it's like, yeah, because nothing else is out. <laughs> like like nothing else. Oh, hello. Hey, you just <laughs> He just Alba got bodied by Dragon Ball. <laughs> he just Alba had a movie come out. <laughs> you didn't even know it came out. It got bodied by Dragon Ball. <laughs> what, mo what movie? He just Alba. I forgot the name of that. Oh, movie Beast. Oh, that be yeah, Beast. Yeah, yeah, that Beast movie. But like, I, I literally, I, I went to the theater to see what, what, what movie was that? Me and my mom went to go see. Oh, it was Thor. It was Thor. I only saw I only saw I only saw that movie being promoted when I went to go watch uh the, the Thor movie the Lo Love and Thunder. And it, uh, it's Dragon Ball, bro. Like people are going to be like, "Hey, you just help, but you cool and all, but it's Dragon." Like I said, nothing came out. When Dragon Ball Super Superhero came out, there was nothing else of relevance that released around that. Time. No big MCU movie, no I don't know, some DC project, nothing like that that of relevance came out during the super superhero time frame so it's easy to build up that's like that's literally what these a lot of these movies do as a, a marketing ploy they release their movies around times when shit ain't coming out because we're the number one stay tuned for the number one movie in america it's like yeah no shit mm -hmm. yeah. like how many how many number one movies in america have you seen bro like come on now like it's <laughs> but uh like I said, i'm just happy niggas was wrong that's all i'm happy niggas was wrong they said Dragon Ball movie is not gonna do good in the states, and bro, the movie didn't even came out in like certain places like Spain and stuff and like like yeah, so it's still gonna it's still gonna do good. So like why why did people was posting people was posting fucking 
like seeding charts. Like when when Brody came out, all these seasons took it. Yeah, because Dragon Ball just that shit just came after the most hyped Dragon Ball arc of yeah. all fucking time in the universe. So yes, everybody wants to see what the fuck is next. And, then, and everybody loves Brody too. And then motherfuckers like, bro, nobody want to go see this movie. Then realize that most movie goers literally be like, unless you're a fucking Marvel dick eater, most movie goers literally be like, hey, you free on Friday? Well, I want to go see the Dragon Ball movie. Yeah, let's go. Watch Dragon Ball movie. Or, or like, no, like my little brother texted me saying he wants to see it on a, a $5, what was it, $5 Tuesday, $5 Wednesday? Yeah. He wants to see Thursday? It. You gonna pick like, like I'm not like it's gonna be in theaters. People like, like to go. People like to go. It's, it's certain people who like to go to the theaters just for the sake of going to the theaters, just to, for yeah. the sake of going out. It don't matter what movies out. They'll probably see what's what's the what's the biggest hype thing out right now. Dragon Ball. All right, I want to go to the movies. Let's go see that movie. That's just kind of how it goes. Like it's a name. It's a it's a name you're going to see. Be like. Oh, I, I know what Dragon Ball is. That's the Kamehameha show, right? Oh, I didn't know they had a movie. I'll check it out. Like, I'm glad that it. I'm glad that is. I'm glad that it has is doing well because it, it 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 makes it look it makes Shueisha and Toei realize that nigga, we want more Dragon Ball. <laughs> like, I don't know what you're doing, but we want more Dragon Ball media besides the manga and besides fucking Xenoverse Two and Fighters and dokkan and legends we want more we want more dragon ball bring them anime back please so i'm glad that this show is doing numbers because it it makes you go like you have consumers who are willing to pay for a product that they like mm -hmm. dragon ball um unfortunately this has given rise to some very very shitty takes but i'm not going to get into that <laughs> <laughs> some very bad takes and concern with that movie but i'm gonna let y'all i'm gonna let y'all cook with those bad takes let niggas cook, G. But um, yeah. So shout out to Mood being successful, Toei. Give us tomorrow. Oh no no! This is what I wanted to rant about before we end it. I was saying that like I was saying stuff about. Okay, um, I don't know if I'm giving the clown to Japan, uh, Toei. I'm giving the clown to Japan. Um, I'm giving the clown to Japan. <laughs> I'm giving the clown to Japan because I'm I'm tired of this, bro. In 2022. Why the fuck are you releasing this shit worldwide? At this point, there's no excuse. Like, there is no reason that this Dragon Ball movie came out in Japan a month before it came out in this, or two months before it came out in the States. There's no reason why. Like I said before, at this point, Dragon Ball is worldwide. Goku has a statue in, I think it's like in Paris or somewhere in France. During like certain football games, they literally have whole crowd cheering, doing Dragon Ball stuff, having Goku out in the field. Dragon Ball is a momentum in terms of the world, in terms of being a globally recognized product. The fact that this movie didn't release worldwide to me is it, it's clownish. It's clown. And don't give me the excuse of, oh, we had to wait for the dub. Bullshit. With the amount of money and resources that you got for the attached to that property, there's no way you can tell me that you had to delay this for a dub or something like that. Especially since most people will probably watch it in sub too, if you only released it in sub with with subtitles. So like, there's just no excuse that this stuff. The same thing with One Piece. Why the fuck is it film red released worldwide? With how momentous One Piece is globally. Being a globally recognized product. You literally had a goddamn booth at C2E2 dedicated to Film Red. And you and you mean to tell me that you can't release this worldwide? Again, if you're talking about some dub, which you don't care about One Piece dub. Because the fucking anime is still back in like... I think they just got started with Whole Cake. You don't care about the dub for One Piece. So in that case, if you're, if you're like, oh, well, we don't know. Literally, we will watch it subbed with subtitles so the fact that you have these products that are like recognized and japan does this a lot they did it with they did it with kingdom hearts they're starting to go they're starting to go in the right direction with final fantasy they released final fantasy at least like worldwide like with kingdom hearts like with, with kingdom hearts 3 we had to wait like three days or something like that before it came out on the states for some stupid ass reason especially <laughs> since kingdom hearts is a freaking juggernaut of a freaking product in terms of worldwide recognition too. 
stop i don't understand like when it comes to your products japan why are we not releasing this stuff worldwide anymore it just make to me it literally makes no sense it doesn't so i i i just wanted to go on that rant because it just it's just a fear because it's like we got film red out now and like freaking you have like one piece treasure cruise which is their mobile game their global version is doing a celebration for the movie and it's like nigga the film isn't out globally <laughs> what are you talking about like you're releasing they're literally releasing like units and stuff that are in the movie and it's like we don't even know what's going on bro <laughs> like it's just such a it's just such a bad i don't know who's in charge of marketing when it comes to them determining like the release schedule and the marketing and all this other stuff the advertisement with these like movies and products and stuff but fire that guy immediately fire him let him know that today's his last day and hire somebody who's competent enough to go like hey you know how we can make more money release it worldwide there you go he just made more money so like it, it's just I, I just wanted to go on that little rant that's it we can move on. and it slows down piracy Oh yeah, for sure. Cause y'all, uh, y'all, y'all love to. You got y'all love, love to go on this tirade about how bad piracy is and how piracy is the devil and blah 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 blah. But you don't realize that you are literally not offering the one thing that piracy will always offer that you never will offer when you do shit like this. No, convenience. Thanks. Convenience. I want to be able to watch what I want when I want, and that's what piracy lets me do. So until you until you find the answer to that, you'll you'll always see piracy there. That's why I'm not going to out, that's why I'm not going out to see superhero in theaters because I already saw it. I'm definitely already saw it. <laughs> and it's gonna be the same thing with One Piece. When that when oh. it, when the shit when it hits the East streets, I got I'm, not gonna go, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna go to theaters. I already saw it. <laughs> be that way, but game the game.